hello guys welcome back to my channel today you're going to see how i make my gluten free or oatmeal cookies for my kids the schools are closed so we obviously have to ensure that we have some bites for the kids to enjoy so first of all i'm going to preheat pre my oven to 180 degrees Then, let me show you the ingredients which I'm going to use. So here I have my oats. I have sugar. This is a half a cup of sugar. And uh, one and a half cups of oats. One cup oatmeal flour half a cup chocolate chips I have also one egg and half a cup of margarine you can also use butter I have my baking powder and my vanilla essence so let's start mixing first of all I'm going to pour in my oats in a mixing bowl and then my oat flour My sugar then I'll mix these dry ingredients mix till they are well incorporated then now I'm going to add my baking powder yes you're supposed to measure guys one tablespoon of baking powder this is roughly a tablespoon if your baking powder is as lumpy as mine, uh, sieve it using a sieve. Mine, I didn't sieve it, that's why now I have to mix it vigorously. Then now, the chocolate chips. From here, now we can start adding our wet ingredients. We start with the egg. The vanilla essence. This is like a tablespoon. And then, margarine or uh, butter. By the way, butter tastes better in cookies than margarine, but I don't have butter today. And instead of chocolate chips, you can also use um, peanut butter or peanut chips or roughly grounded peanuts or desiccated coconut or even almond. see guys it only takes very few minutes I think like five minutes to mix so now we are done this is our mixture so next step hold our cookies and place them on the baking tray i've already lined my baking tray here as you can see i'm just going to use my hands this way it's a sample of what i'll be doing we make a small bowl Press it. Ball. Then you press it. Be sure to leave some space for the cookies to expand. If you don't want uh, to use sugar, 
you can also use honey but uh, if you use honey don't uh, add an egg yeah if you use honey use honey but leave out the egg because if you add uh, the egg plus honey it's going to make your cookies soggy or chewy unless you like them that way i don't like chewy cookies i like them crunchy and that is how my kids enjoy the cookies too these cookies are so nice kids can also take them for breakfast yeah what you need to do is just uh, to reduce the sugar and you can reach them you can enrich them with nuts and the kids can enjoy for breakfast so now my oven is my oven is ready i'm going to place my cookies inside the oven at 150 degrees and i'll bake them for 20 to 25 minutes as you can see I've just removed my cookies from the oven and instead of uh, picking one cookie after the other and placing them on the rack I decided to just lift the baking sheet with the cookies and place it here for them to cool <laughs> don't mind the shapes guys you see if you place the butter and you press it a little bit they become more flatter and more crunchier but you can also just scoop and place the balls on the sheet they will definitely um, raise and spread flat like this but not as thin as this i love my cookies very thin because they are crunchier when they're very thin that's why i press them so now you see how they spread i didn't want to use a uh, two trays or bake them in two batches that is why i had to squeeze them yeah but if you have a bigger tray of course they are not going to stick on each other like mine not so much though um, i'm happy of the results so i'm waiting for them to cool <coughs> then you taste it So guys, as you can see, my cookies are already cold now. Very nice, very light and crunchy. I hope you can hear this guys. crunchiness guys the taste so nice so good this one i want to make some coffee actually black coffee goes better with this i know my kids are going to enjoy so let's meet in the next video thank you guys for watching bye